it's this pretend thing uh, about where they pretend to be different, so you, you, you feel like you have some sort of choice. You don't have a choice. You're going to vote, you're, you're voting for more government <laughs> every time you vote for either one of them. And when people go, well, it's just the lesser of, of two evils is this, is a Republican. It's like, well, probably not so much. I mean, not unless they have a true change of heart. I don't, I always found it fascinating how, why the Republican Party insists on keeping some of these draconian styles, especially in Texas, I mean, on their platform, it's just like, I mean, uh, oral sex is, is something they want to outlaw. Yeah. On the platform. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> who's going to vote for that? Right. I mean, but I mean, they have, <laughs> but I mean, they, they have a they have a list of stuff on there that just it just makes me just go, what? How do you even and who is that, that? that? And how do you? Yeah. And who who's are they? That? Yeah. And so and it, but it gets in their platform. And so that was one of the things I I, I remember in two thousand seven is when I got. You know, really involved with the Libertarian Party. Originally, I was like, "Yeah, I'm a Libertarian," but I wasn't doing anything. Mm -hmm. And then I, re I was really getting involved with what Ron Paul was doing. But I read the Republican platform, and I, you read the Libertarian platform, and it's like, "Now, this is what I am. I'm mm -hmm. a Libertarian. I do not care what people do with their lives. I think as long as they accept the personal responsibility for what they do with their lives, mm -hmm. I don't care." They can sniff glue, they can put gasoline hats on their head and breathe in, they can do whatever they want, as long as it's not my responsibility to take care of them after the fact. You know, and they can Total do, responsibility. Tell me your 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 That's kinda of, that's kind of I mean your what you call it, um, platform. Oh. Well, it depends on the issue, but I mean, the, the, but but it is it does really the philosophy. I, oh no, I'm going into the philosophy of liberty. But the point is, is that you should be responsible for you. Now that doesn't mean that doesn't make you greedy or anything like that. It just means that it's not the, that we don't believe it's the role of government to do these things. It's not the role of government to tell you who you can have sex with. It could be that you personally could, if you feel like telling somebody you shouldn't have, you know, you shouldn't be gay. Well, you have a right to say that. And, but you don't have a right to use government to do it. And you, and, and so that same thing holds true with, uh, with welfare. You, I have a right to give people money. Sometimes when people ask me about, you know, well, what was the latest thing that you, what was the latest charity you contributed to? And it's just like, well, there are some, but the best charity I contributed to was hiring, ten, giving 10 people a job. You know, there are 10 people that have a job that work for me right now, and that's the best charity I can contribute to. And if you, if you really wanted to help society, you would just continue to create jobs. You know, don't stop, you know, uh, so I, I, I disagree with charity even as a form of charity sometimes. I realize that there are people that absolutely need help. And then those are the people that you, that you give to. But, then when at the, but the government doing it, every time the government gets involved in something, they screw it up. You know, and that's the bottom line.